Hi everyone. So in today's uh, video, I am going to answer one of the questions that frequently comes up in my uh, the comment section, and that is how to track the critical tasks in an MS project uh, file. So I, I have a file here, and I want to see or show you where the critical tasks are. So for those who are not familiar, critical tasks in project management refers to tasks that if they are delayed, then the last date of the project will also be delayed. So they are considered critical. Now there are several ways to do this in MS project. So I'm going to show you three methods to do this. So the first one is using the reports. So in the report tab, you should see there different uh, kinds of reports. And under the in progress, you should see there different filters for the tasks. And one of them is critical tasks. So you simply have to click on that critical task. And you should now see here the different tasks that are considered currently critical in MS project. Now take note that I mentioned currently critical because critical tasks can change depending on the updates that you have in MS project. So later I'll show that to you. But for now, I'll go away from this screen because though this is an easy way to generate this kind of report, it may not be the best one if your report or if your project is still ongoing because this is in a format that is not editable. So I'll go back to my project view. I'll go back to my Gantt chart view here. And from here, I'm going to show you how to highlight which are critical and which are not. So once you are in the Gantt chart project, you should see here you have the Gantt chart format tab. And there are actually checkboxes wherein one of them is critical task. So you simply have to check the critical task and you should now see some of the bars turning red. So this means that these are currently considered critical in your project. So if any of this gets delayed, then the project will be delayed. Notice that we have this one task that is not highlighted, and that is because no other tasks depend on it. That is usually a reason why a certain task will not be considered critical because nothing depends on it in the first place. On the other hand, this task here, which also depends on the same task, is considered critical because the next task actually depends on it. So this is one way that you can generate or see critical tasks in MS project. And take note that if you've accomplished the task, for example, I'm going to tag some of the tasks as already completed. So let's say I'm going to tag this one as 100% complete, you will remove some of the tasks from being critical. This usually depends on what the updates are currently on your project. So you will notice that many of them are now blue because these tasks are not anymore critical. So it's more of like a live report of which tasks are considered critical. So this is one way to monitor the critical tasks in your project. Now, the other method is by using filters. So you can go to view and under view, you can see here in the middle filter. So the filter option allows you to filter tasks depending on certain categories. So for example, you want to filter tasks that are considered active. You want to consider tasks that are considered incomplete. You want to consider to filter tasks that are currently late. So one of the filters here is critical. So you will see okay, that if I choose this critical, all those blue highlighted bars are gone. And that is because I now filter the tasks which are only critical in my project. So it makes it easy to see if you have a lot of tasks and you only want to see those that are considered critical. 
Now, also in this view is another way to highlight critical tasks. So I will remove my filter here. And instead of filter, I will use the highlight method. And I will now wrap this down. And just like the filter, it has several categories. But instead of filtering the tasks, it will just highlight the data. So I will click critical from here. And now I could see that I have this critical tasks okay, highlighted in the left window of my MS project. So you will see all the yellow highlighted tasks okay, considered as critical. So the first one is also being tagged as critical because this one here is the umbrella task of this task over here. So that's how you identify critical tasks in MS Project. I hope you like this video and if it somehow helped you, I would appreciate a like and subscribe. That would really help the channel grow. And if you have any questions, please use the comment section and I will do my best to answer as soon as I can. Thank you and see you in the next video.